for you. Good. Um, Leo, uh, we're having a conversation again, or we started a week this week, which is dominated by COVID again, unfortunately. Um, how concerned are you that um, that you're that you're in a, you know that this is dominating the headlines at the start of the week? Yeah, it's, it is a challenge for sure. Um, every team has gone through the different stages. I think it's fair to say so. Um, yeah, like obviously our medics have it at hand and they're in consultation with EPCR and the HSC and um, once we got to go ahead to train today, which which was good for us. Um, so we had decent numbers out training today. A number of players you know, had been pulled, um, obviously as positive cases or as close contacts. So our medics are working through that and they're in consultation with, as I said, with HSC. And, um, yeah, but it, it has its challenges. But um, for the group that we have out there training, it's just trying to focus on the same with the coaches. It's just trying to focus on the challenge at hand now, which is Montpellier um, away, which is a great challenge for us. Short turnaround anyway this week. But obviously with the um, scenario we have, the week has got a little bit shorter again. So um, guys just did a good session there. So um, yeah, they're, they're excited about the challenge this week. Um, always going away to France is... is 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 a challenge, um, um, but it's it's great as well. You know, you saw Ulster at the weekend away in Claremont, and um, you know, brilliant performance for them. And you see like the the atmosphere at the games and the crowd and all the rest. So um, it's always a bit special being away in France, and I think everyone in the group is looking forward to getting going um, over there. So um, yep, it's uh, on we go as a group. Are you concerned at this stage, or how difficult is it at this stage to even sort of try and prepare for a game like that, given the fact that Montpellier have some cases as well? You've got some cases. Um, you know, there, there must be some, or is there some doubt about the match at this stage? Um, I will just, as we've been in constant communication um, with EPCR and, as I said, the HSE, so it's it's leaving it in their hands, really, you know what I mean? So we just get on and get ready for the game. And um, as I said, like, you know, we've been to Montpellier before. Um, they're going very well in the top 14 at the moment. Um, they sent a bit of a scratchy team is what it looked like that went to Exeter at the weekend. Um, so if they have their full strength team, again, I don't, I don't know what their scenario is over there. Um, you know, they still have they have so much quality and depth in their group. So um, it's a very tough but exciting challenge for our guys. Okay, stay safe. Thanks, Thanks Michael. Michael. Can I jump in there, Paul, if that's okay? Hi, Leo. Paul from Bruce. How are you getting on? Hi, Paul. Leo, are you concerned that the game might not go ahead, or what's your gut feeling? Do you think it might be called off because of the COVID cases in both camps? Um, I, I don't know. Like, it, it's only really speculation. For, like, is it not, I don't know enough um, in terms of the facts. So, for us, you know, as, as coaches and players, we've just been, you know, sort of buried in Montpellier for the day, really, and just understanding some of the threats that they have. Um, as I said, we just come off the training field there as well, so we got the all clear to do that. So. Um, yeah, we'll see the next forty hours plays out, but at the moment we're we're fully intent on getting ready and um, playing the game. There, there is a chance though that it could be called off, isn't there, or is there? Well, as in we've seen games in the past being called off, yeah, but you know, as I said like that's just speculation. All right, thank you. Best luck. Thanks, Paul. Hi, Leo. How are you doing? Um, obviously, very tricky time at the moment, but considering like you've been dealing with this for the guts of a season and a half now, is it, even though it's not ideal to be losing players like this, is it a little bit more manageable and less kind of, I suppose, kind of scary overall that you know you've you've been down this road before and you know how you're able to work this and how you're able to kind of keep players separated and keep everyone safe? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, like, and yeah, there was, you know, you think back to this time last year, um, like there was a lot more, you were, you were, there was a lot more worry, you know, like, you know, every day we're, we're waiting for the six o'clock news and, you know, it's whatever the number is, whatever, five or six thousand cases and all the rest, you know what I mean? So it's so prevalent now in society, it's, it's become more normalised, shall I say. Um, you know, and there's still, you know, everyone is here is doing their bit to try and mitigate risk all the time and all the different safety measures that are in place. But, you know, there is some unavoidable aspects of society in terms of you know our access and guys doing normal things with family and all the rest so um but yeah like in terms of the symptoms that guys in terms of the people that we've have they've been a hell of a lot less 
I think that's that's the slightly encouraging part of it. So, um, but that's not to to say you know that there's still risk out there. You know what I mean? So I'm not being flippant in any way. Um, so yeah, it's just one of those things we have to manage. We've been managing, as you say, for for a good chunk of time now. Um, all last season, obviously, we were, we were playing in stadiums where there was no crowds. Now crowds are back, so that's just presented a slightly different challenge, as we know. Um, but in terms of our guys and the medical care that we have, has been fantastic here. So um, you know, we'll we'll just continue to forge ahead. Absolutely. And uh, just my second question then. Obviously, you were already in a short week, but it being a Friday game, Saturday to Friday. Obviously, losing losing a day of training yesterday isn't ideal. No, it's not ideal, yeah, but like the group have been together for a while now, so you know if we were having those really short blocks, I guess, um, you know, post November, say, as, as a comparison, whereas you know, guys have been back together for a few weeks now, um, and everyone's itching to play, really. Sometimes it's it, it, it forces the rest piece, and you can get busy just in the short period of time we do have in terms of training, so. Um, it's maybe not a bad thing. Um, off the back of the weekends, you know, there was definitely some frustrations in the game, even though it's a good bonus point win at home. Um, and now it's just trying to turn it around quickly with a reasonably similar plan, just trying to make sure we're a bit more accurate in some of the things we did, particularly, you know, we talked about at the end of the game, um, how we managed the last 20, 30 minutes of the game where we probably got a little bit too loose. But, um, you know, there's lots of good learnings from the weekend. So, as I said, it's just trying to take the learnings and, you know, improve um, the level of performance and just tighten up a few aspects of our game because there was a lot of really good stuff as well. You know, we started the game with really good intent against Bath, um, scored, what was it, five tries in the first half. So there was plenty of positives in there as well. All right. Cheers, Leo. Good luck the weekend. <clears throat> Thanks, Neil. OK, is that it for everyone? Sorry, can I just check you with Terry or Norty? I'm just checking, can you confirm how many cases you have within the squad? Uh, no, so the, basically our medics are working through that at the moment with the HSE and EPCR, so that's the way the statement was left, the way it was. Okay, so you could have, are you, are you still waiting for the tests to come back as well? Because Could it be more widespread sort of in the coming days? Yeah, so we've been testing every day this week just to make sure that we're doing everything we possibly can. And that was PCR and Andrew. Okay, thanks.